The death count climbing quickly tonight in Lebanon. The country's health minister confirming more than 70 people have died. Thousands more injured after an explosion rocked the capital city of Beirut earlier today. A massive stockpile of highly explosive material is believed to have set off the warehouse fire that caused the blast. The U.S. Embassy in Beirut warning there are reports of toxic gases released in the explosion, so all in the area should stay indoors and wear masks if available. President Trump calling an attack a short time ago. Well, it would seem like it based on the explosion. I've met with some of our great generals, and they just seemed to feel that it was. This was not a uh, some kind of a uh, manufacturing uh, explosion type of event. This was a, uh, seems to be, according to them, they would know better than I would, but they seem to think it was a uh, attack. It was a bomb of some kind, yes. Here now, General Jack Keane, chairman of the Institute for the Study of War and a Fox News senior strategic analyst. General Keane, great of you to be here with us tonight. As we learn new details uh, about what happened there, the president detailing an attack of some kind, a bomb of some kind, said he was briefed by the generals. What can you add to what we're learning about that attack tonight? Well, the thing is, it's so horrific. I, I mean, my God. Uh, everybody in Beirut was impacted by the attack. That, that's actually extraordinary, you know, for a, a considerably large city like that. As you noted in the introduction, the you know, hundreds have been killed and thousands, you know, ha have been wounded. And so many buildings in the area, you know, have been impacted by it. And when you look at the actual scene of it, it looks like a massive physical destruction uh, near the port area. I think at this point, we're so early in this, Sandra, I don't think we truly know. Lebanese generals are saying they don't believe it was any form of terrorism. They think it was some kind of a fire that led to the explosion of thousands, listen, thousands of tons of ammonium nitrate, which would create something like that. The president obviously has considerably more information than all of us in terms of what is possible. But this much we know. When we think about what do the radicals do in reference, you know, to what their targets are, they're usually very symbolic targets, uh, targets that associate with people as, a, as opposed to a warehouse. And what am I talking about? I mean, terminals, railroad stations, airplane terminals, buses, trains, bridges. Uh, obviously, the horrific bombings that took place uh, by using airplanes uh, in the United States, that's normally their target. And, and, and also, Sandra, we have horrible memories here, you know, going back 40 years when uh, the radicals blew up our Marine barracks, 241 killed uh, in Lebanon, our embassy. And then when we moved to the annex, they blew that up as well. So. Yes, we, we have very painful memories of what took place. But I think we just don't have enough facts yeah. and forensic evidence to, to point at something uh, in terms of whether it's domestic terrorism or radical terrorism yeah. or maybe an accident. The Lebanon prime minister is saying those responsible will pay the price. You do look at the increasing tension between Israel and Hezbollah, and you look big picture after this attack, knowing what we know now and what the U.S. role will be to step in and how we can help General Keene? Well, obviously, the United States has huge capacity to assist. And if, if the people of Lebanon need our assistance, we'll be there for them. And we have considerable capacity in Europe. We don't have to come from the United States to do it. We, we have that capability. It's very close to Lebanon, very close to the Middle East. So we absolutely, I'm, I'm confident, without talking to anybody, that our ambassador is reaching out and offering all the assistance that the United States can possibly provide to, to help these people. The only thing that is happening domestically, I mean, they're going through COVID. Uh, the hospital infrastructure, not surprising, is, is struggling with their, their economy is in a tank. There is a trial that's taking place dealing with the assassination of their prime minister, Harari. And the culmination of that trial is coming up the end of this week, is what people believe, in terms of a verdict dealing with the assassination, 
the assassinators of, of the prime minister. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing I can look at domestically that may have uh, a relationship to this. But I think we need to get some more facts. And hopefully we do in the coming hours and days. General Keene, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you.